Bellator MMA, live on Paramount Network from the Windstar World Casino and Resort. We started the night with a welterweight matchup between Easy Ed Ruth and Keech Kunamoto. Keech Kunamoto coming in this with a lot of experience of fighting on the ground, but to get Ed Ruth there is not an easy thing, and Ed Ruth was the guy who decided the, pit, the pace, the placement of the fight, and started landing a big right hand. You see that jab landing. It was his kicks that made a difference. Look at that shot right there. You could see that that hurt Kunamoto, and then there was this shot. That leg comes up to kick, but the knee lands across the jaw of Kunamoto, and that was the beginning of the end. Ed Ruth sees that he's in trouble, starts opening up with shots, big, heavy right and left hands to the point where Todd Anderson, the referee, needs to come in and stop the fight. A big win and come back into the win category for Ed Ruth. His sixth Bellator win by knockout. And then a flyweight fight with title implications. And if Julia Velasquez was looking to make a statement, she made a very large one. Man, I think we know how tough Christina Williams is. The war horse came to fight, but Juliana Velasquez had the answer for everything. Her left hand was the difference in this fight. It landed cleanly throughout the fight, doing damage to Christina Williams. Look at it, her there, comes back right hand, and again, left hand down the pipe. It was that left hand that put an end to this fight. Watch as she lands it. All of a sudden, Christina Williams cannot. She tries to come back. The body shot hurts her, and she cannot respond. The end of the fight right there. What a win for Juliana Velasquez, setting herself up possibly for a title shot against the champ in Alimale McFarland. That would be a great tilt. Speaking of champions, the former champion, Rafael Cavallo, taking on Chitty Bang Bang and Jikawani, a contracted bout at 190. Well, we knew both guys were outstanding in the stand-up, and there was a couple moments just like that where Chidi landed some body kicks that absolutely made Cavallo stop in his tracks and go, oh, I got to be careful with this guy. But it was the ground game that made the difference. Cavallo, big takedown, and he just showed that, you know, when he wanted to bring the fight to the ground, he could do that. He gets the unanimous decision victory, and he definitely deserved it. Big win for the former middleweight champ. And then our main event of the evening for the featherweight belt, the champion Julia Budd, the challenger Olga Rubin, and the jewel was absolutely shining brightly again tonight. Look at that kick to the body. It just paralyzes. Big bad Olga Rubin, then a knee to the body. That finishes her off. You look at Julia Budd, she is just getting better and better. She's having confidence. That kick, that front teeth, you can see Olga reaches. She grabs. Look at where her right arm is now. She can't even bring her hand up as she's getting hit. And then this knee finishes it. Boom! Right to the body. That's the end of that fight. A huge and decisive win for the jewel, Julia Budd. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com. Here we go! A low blow stopped their first fight in its tracks. I feel terrible. It's okay, dude, let's run it back. Now on Saturday, August 24th. <laughs> these two heavy hitters. Oh, my! Matt Mitrione. Oh! And Sergei Karatanov. It does not get bigger than this. Won't stop till someone gets knocked out. It is all over! Bellator MMA, live Saturday, August 24th at 9 on the new Paramount Network.